Three teenagers accused of a prom night rape were back in court today trying to get out of jail in their trials. Local 10's Leanne Motohone live with what the judge decided today. Well, Janine, you may remember last month these teens appeared in court for their first appearance. They were ordered to be held without bond, but for two of those teens this morning, that all changed. Two of four teens accused of sexual battery are being allowed to go home on bond. $15,000 with house arrest and GPS monitor. 19 year olds Luis Rosello and Julio Fernandez were given a $15,000 bond. Once out of jail, they'll stay on house arrest with total lockdown and GPS monitoring. They must also stay away from their alleged victim, abstain from drugs and alcohol, and submit to random drug tests. Keep in mind that you could be drug tested randomly if you get picked up for use of cannabis or something like that and they test positive, the state could actually get brought back into custody. You understand? Fellow defendant 19 year old Adrian Machine was also in court, but his hearing was reset for tomorrow. He is expected to be released on similar terms. You seen this arrest affidavit? Last month, Machine, Fernandez, and Rosella were all ordered to be held without bond. 17 year old Adan Valdez is the youngest defendant, his case being handled in juvenile court. Valdez was ordered held in secure detention. Their charges stem from an alleged incident that happened around 2 a.m. on May 1st at the Quartzo Hotel in Bell Harbor in the overnight hours after the Braddock High Prom. Documents allege Valdez allegedly assaulted a 21-year-old woman with the handle of an umbrella while Machine and Fernandez filmed it. Police say Machine inserted a marijuana cigarette into the victim and lit it while Rosello blew on it. All of this, say police, while the victim was incapacitated. And documents also show that Fernandez is being required to hand over his iPhone for forensic investigation. The state is planning to file charges against Adan Valdez as an adult. We are live in West Miami Day tonight. Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.